Hey there guys, I'm still around. Anyway, during this quarantine I decided that I wanted to make a couple videos and do a couple reviews. I hope you're all doing well, I hope you're all healthy. Uh, well, I guess let's get on with it. My reviews are basically uh, things that, because of this quarantine, are things that you can get within this month. <laughs> Uh, Amazon has changed their shipping to where they are prioritizing things, which makes sense. But it's also slowing down anything you could have got by most means. So, or most things you can usually get. So, uh, first up, I decided I would, uh, check out this. It's a, uh, Dig Gold, uh, first aid kit. Uh, there's a couple reasons I chose this one. I'll uh, show those to you here in a second. First off, let's get some light here. Anyway. Uh, this actually brings me back to uh, thinking about my mother. Uh, she was the one who uh, I was raised by a single mother, so she had a lot of influence on me. Uh, but one of the things that moms aren't known to do is uh, teaching teaching you the ins and outs about owning a vehicle. So, uh, anyway, sap half-ass story out of the way. Let's get into this thing. It looks like everything's down at the bottom here, because, well, who knows why. Ah. Come on. Alright. So as you can see, you've got a pretty good uh, kit in here. Uh, marketed it mostly as a, a uh, survival kit, but it looks more of a uh, first aid kit. Which most of the time those two go in hand in hand, but this one seems to have more emphasis on uh, first aid, I think. Anyway. What really made me want to get this kit because I was always taught that when you uh, have a car, one of the things that you uh, absolutely should have, you have a set list of things that you should have, at least according to Mama, one of which should be a shovel. And yes, I carried a military style shovel in my car at all times. Uh, not this particular kind, of course. Not 100% sure. Of course, this is how you work this part. Get it to stick out like that. Uh, I'd like to have a chance to review the shovel a little more at some point, but right now, this is what we're getting. Huh. Okay. Seems it must tighten down this handle here too because that was really loose at first and now the more you tighten this down the uh, easier that is to manipulate or the harder that is to manipulate so uh, yeah but you always need a shovel to uh, to get debris away from your uh, to get away from your exhaust hose if you uh, ever get stuck what else we got in here? Feel something else. Alright. Two things. We have some paracord. Feels somewhat genuine. We'll uh, look at that a little closer. And a knife. And I kind of like this knife. Thin profile. case the need for a uh, sheath. Uh, no belt clip, but who needs that, I guess. No lock. Uh, feels a decent sharpness, so yeah, I keep pressing that. Anyway, 
It doesn't look like it's a bad knife, it'll just be something you have to get used to not having a lock on it. Here, let's move this over so we can see what's going on. Alrighty. On to this stuff. Q-tips. Uh, what do we have here? Septic wipes, uh, alcohol pads, okay, so we have a fishing kit, a safety pin of safety pins, more alcohol, dollar Amazon promotion here. I'll look into that later. Uh, ah, new sport. Carabiner. Medical tape. Gauze rolls. Ah, small pack of gloves with a hole in it. So, not sterile apparently. Tweezers. Again, not sterile. Uh, triangular bandage. Rule number two on my mom's list was have a blanket. Flashlight with, get this, no battery. So we kind of need to get that taken care of. Uh, oh, first aid pamphlet. like a uh, series of band-aids. Oh, this back part seems kind of thick. I don't know what that is. Oh, just a shit ton of band-aids. Okay. So, a shit ton of band-aids. Which I'm actually kind of glad to see because you never ever get a whole lot of band-aids in some of these kits. I mean, usually, the smaller the kit, usually you get one. So, it's nice to see them actually take notice. Uh, crappy looking scissors. Don't know what exactly those will cut. Don't know if I want to, you know, put my life on them, but, notice. to the end. And of course, we have a tourniquet and a whistle. This doesn't seem to be any kind of uh, fancy whistle, just a whistle. A well-working whistle. So, all right. But anyway, another thing that I thought this came with candles, which is something else my mother told me that you should always have, along with some food, water, uh, and of course nowadays you need a cell phone. Just things to keep you alive while you're waiting on help, or if you're stuck for a little while. Anyway, that is the Duggard Survival Kit, and it still feels heavy, I'm still trying to figure out why. I have a feeling I missed something, but I can't say for sure. I did. Looks like we have another one of these card knives. 
Hopefully this is a better version than what I've been getting in some of these. Alright. Yeah, Blade leaves a lot to be desired. Uh, eh. Anyway, there we go. That That's all you get for, I think it was like 20, $24. So, the shovel alone is a great ad. I'm kind of glad that came with it. Oh, also, while we're at it, test out. Alright, they have this, uh, well, hidden. Nope. Hey, I found an end. Anyway, time to test the blade on this and the quality of our rope here. Oh, well, blade works fine. But what I'm looking for is the quality of the strands in this. Sorry. Come on. There we go. And... Yeah, I'm not too impressed, but at least you have seven strands there. So, uh... I would still put in my own paracord. But... I guess in a situation that would still probably do what you need to do as long as you don't need it to hold the full 550 pounds. So anyway, there you go. Uh, hope to have a new video coming at you soon. Uh, stay in, stay healthy, be careful. Talk to you later.